Hey, how's it going everyone? It's Bloodzealous, and today we're reviewing the mod Bosscraft, which is completely boss actually, so let's get right into this. So first, let's quickly talk about the new items in this mod. I apologize in advance, by the way, if I miss anything, this is a huge mod, and uh, there's probably something I missed. There's a link in the description to the forum if, uh, if you want to see how this mod really works for yourself. So, new items. There are these orbs. Each one corresponds to a biome. Desert orb corresponds to the desert, and so on. Green orb to the forest. I don't know why they didn't just call it the forest orb or something like that. This corresponds to the night, and to each one of those orbs is its own scroll. The scroll you make, uh, I'll show you in a second how you make that. Basically, you use these orbs in part with the scrolls to summon the bosses, and each boss will drop a special weapon if you kill them, except for the cave uh, boss, I don't quite know what he drops. These are the weapons they drop. You have the Pharaoh Staff, the Rogue's Knife, the Ultimate Hammer, the Fire Sword, and the Midnight Scythe, and I'll show you what those do later on. Also, the Fire Boss has a chance, or will drop one piece of each of these uh, every time you kill him, and if you have the full set of Hellstone Armor, you are impervious to fire, as well as I think it's about as strong as Diamond Armor. The, uh, the boss of the the forest, the, the rogue boss, will drop the Pegasus Boots, poten potentially, he's not for sure going to, it's a rare chance. The boss of the forest, the Mega Block, will drop the Rocket Boots, potentially, and the boss of the knight, the Grim Reaper, might drop Boots of Lightness, and I will show you what all of these do later. The last new item is the Fire Sword Special Thingy, and I have no idea what it does, so don't ask. Check the forum, I didn't find it there, but I may have missed it. If you know what it means, check the, or comment below so I can see. So let's figure out how you make all these things work exactly. Alright, so the way you summon bosses in this game is to craft um, scrolls. So after you have enough of each of these orbs, you're going to you need 20 of each orb, you're going to need one scroll before you can actually do anything. So to craft the orbs, you're going to put paper in a circle like this. Let me make this so that I can actually make all of these. You're going to put paper like this to craft the necro orb, I think it is. You're going to put an ender eye, or the dark, oh, we're making scrolls, that's right. Darkness scroll, you put an ender eye. The, um, the fire scroll, piece of, piece of nether brick, nether rack. Um, how am I out of paper in that corner? Obsidian will make the cave scroll. Putting stone in the middle will make the mountain scroll. Leaves in the middle will make the forest scroll. And finally, sand in the middle will make sandstone in the middle will make the desert scroll. So how do you use these things? Well, that's a good question. So let's get on with this. I'm going to need uh, a bunch of orbs. So let's just go with the desert one for now because that is easy enough. Where the f okay? Here we go. We have lots of these orbs and we have the scroll. So now that you have at least 20 um, orbs and you have the scroll, you're just gonna right click 20 times until you run out and it will summon the boss. So this is this is the, uh, let me go to creative before I die. This is the desert boss, he's a pharaoh. He All of the bosses summon minions, so he summons mummies as his minions. Um, and bosses take forever to kill. They are pretty powerful and he, this guy will shoot fire at you and things like that. So that is how you summon them, how you summon all of the bosses. I'll show you all the bosses now, but I'm not going to summon them all here because that would take a long time and I spent a long time building that platform, so I don't know why he decided to destroy that. Alright, so I've sort of improvised a cage here to hold these bosses. This is the Pharaoh, the desert boss that you already saw, and he is basically uh, trapped in here. And I'm just going to go through really quickly and show you all of the bosses so that you can kind of see what they look like. I'm not going to take time to kill all of them in front of you because that would take forever. So that is the Pharaoh. Okay, I finally dealt with the Pharaoh. Now this is the Rogue Master. He's the forest biome uh, boss. He's basically just a, an extremely fast rogue um, who carries two swords and likes to blow things up. That's a common thing with all of these bosses is they either shoot fire or blow things up, which is why they're in obsidian right now. And he spawns normal rogues as minions. Uh, so the, the creature that the boss spawns is the creature that you'll find that you need to get the orbs, if you didn't quite catch that. So in the forest, if you kill these green guys, these rogues, you'll get orbs to spawn the boss. And as it was with the pharaoh, if you kill the mummies that he spawned, you will get the orbs to summon him. So that's how that works. Next boss. Okay, this here is the boss of the mountain biome. This is the mega block, and he spawns little... Actually, I don't know if he spawns little minions 
but basically he just sits there, bounces around, and explodes as a real pain in the butt. One thing I realized uh, when I was killing the last boss, and wow, this is really loud, is that besides dropping loads of experience, uh, sometimes a weapon and sometimes other items, the bosses will often drop diamonds. One or two diamonds, maybe even more. Uh, so this is the Mega Block. Let me kill him, and the next boss, I'll actually show you how I spawn it. You are confused still. Okay, I'm gonna spawn the cave boss next, the cave spider. Um, and so you can see I have at least 20, I have 64 uh, cave orbs, and a cave scroll. So I'm just gonna sit here and hold right click until I've used 20 of those, and then the cave spider will appear. And hopefully it stays in that box. Yes, okay, so the cave spider will put webs everywhere, which is a real pain, because as soon as you... As soon as you uh, try and kill it, you end up getting stuck. As you can see, by the way, I'm using the Pharaoh Staff, which is the item that the boss drops. What is it? Ooh, ooh, it got out. Which is the item that the boss of the desert drops the Pharaoh. I'll show you the other items with the next boss, which I believe is the boss of something or other. Alright, here's the boss of the nether, the fu- wrong button. The fire soldier. He is massive and is going to die in this hole. Um, before he dies though, this is the scythe, which is dropped by the Grim Reaper, I think, who is the boss of the knight. And, uh, what it does is it has a durability of 8, so every time you hit an opponent, you gain one heart, like a vampire, but it only can hit 8 times before it breaks. However, if you right-click it, it repairs itself, but it costs you 4 hearts. This is the kind of thing where you could go into battle, hit 7 times, repair once, hit 7 times, repair once, and it would do a lot of damage. Anyways, this boss is just sitting here, uh getting himself destroyed, really, and this is the one who will drop the fire sword, potentially, um, and along along with uh, the hell, what is it even called, the hell stone armor. So let's move on, the last boss is the boss of the night. Okay, here's the wraith, or the, the nighttime necro boss thingy, and it turns invisible, and I didn't even know that, and this is really creepy, but he summons these ghosts, those are what you have to kill in the night. And every time you hit them, they turn invisible, and then they come and attack you. I don't even know... Oh, he's up there now. So he escaped too, but basically that is what he looks like. He drops that scythe, as I said, and is probably a pain in the butt to kill him. I've never, I've never actually fought him. But he drops darkness balls, which do damage, and um, he is just big. So those are the six bosses this mod adds to the game. There's a couple other things to go over, the weapons I didn't, and the boots. And then I'll uh, shut up so you can go play this mod for yourself. Alright, we are over here safely away from my cage and the ghost wraith boss who is still over there. Um, and I'm going to just, just talk really quickly about these other items. So, the rogue's knife. This is the item that the boss of the forest might drop if you're lucky. This basically, you right click it. You left click, it's like a sword. You right click and it does a hail of arrows, which is extremely cool. And you can use this over and over, but I don't want to freeze my computer with a massive rain of arrows. They honestly don't actually hit that much, but if you are being surrounded, they are pretty useful, and they just litter the ground with arrows. So this here is what the, uh, I think the boss of the mountain drops, the ultimate hammer. If you right click, it sends you jumping, but you do take damage. And then if you attack your opponent with it, which I happen to have none over here, it sends them flying into the air, and then they take fall damage when they come back down. Last thing here, this is the fire sword. This one has a couple quirks. Um, it is indestructible, but it is very weak. So if you attack like this, normal attacking, it's actually a very weak sword. Um, however, it will never break. The one other thing, though, is if it's at full durability, so if it's uh, completely full, you can right-click it, the magma god will appear, and he'll just litter fire on everything. I did this in a jungle once, that jungle over there, and there was nothing left of the jungle. But he litters fire everywhere. As you can see, the durability has gone down to one, or has gone down to the smallest increment, however, it will not break any more than what it's at. So it, it will never break, but you cannot summon the god anymore with this sword. You can only do it once. So those are the three weapons I didn't talk about. These are the Pegasus, these are the Boots of Lightness, and uh, as you can see, I just kind of go floating off this cliff while I wear them. I don't think I'm going to take damage for this, but I could still die. Yeah, I didn't. Alright. So those are the Boots of Lightness dropped by... what was it? The Grim Reaper. Pegasus Boots. They make you... This is normal walking speed, I think. That might actually be running. And let's find a flat thing here so I can run. This is running, and I can... I guess I can't really jump any higher. Pegasus boots, that's great, and they are dropped by the rogue boss sometimes. And then the last are the rocket boots, which are sometimes dropped by the... Uh, what is it? The mountain, the magma block. And these, 
are awesome because they basically make you fly and uh, you just have like a little jet stream out behind you as you do that. So if I go all the way up here, I'll just keep going until it runs out. It'll sort of stop, it'll just turn itself off like that. However, I won't take any fall damage as I hit the ground and then I can keep using them and they will last until they are broken just like any other armor. Okay, so those were the Pegasus boots or rocket boots. I get these all confused. Those were uh, the rocket boots. Last thing is the Hellstone armor, which makes you impervious to fire if you are wearing them. So let's set myself on fire so that I can prove this, because I know you don't believe me. There we go, now I'm on fire and still not dying. So Hellstone armor dropped by the fire boss, sometimes quite nice. Okay, so I believe I have covered just about everything there is to this mod. If I haven't, I apologize, as I said, it's pretty big. Um, you can see behind me up there is the, the ghost thingy, and I think I just saw the spider down there too. Those bosses, just, I could not deal with them. Anyways, head on over to my channel, check out my giveaway, make sure you enter, and uh, make sure you do this mod. What am I saying, do this mod? That's just weird. Make sure you install this mod. It's a great mod, it's so much fun, and it's so much fun that I decided I'm going to do a Let's Play of this mod, so if you want to see that, comment below, and I will definitely start a Let's Play using this mod, where the, the goal of the Let's Play will be to defeat all six bosses. It should be fun, it should be interesting, and uh, I really want to know what you think of that. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Check this mod out, links are in the description. Goodbye.